Happy Friday. I am so happy to be spending another Friday with you. And as you may have picked up, if you've been following me at all on social, I am getting ready to go out on book tour for not one, but two books. And I am so excited. I can't wait to come see so many familiar faces and connect with new faces and just have a fantastic time. So for this week's edition of Five Things, I'm gonna be sharing five things you should know about coming to a book signing. I know, I can't believe it's another Friday, and I also can't believe that I'm almost ready to launch book tours for not one, but two books, A Cup of Holiday Fear and Beyond a Reasonable Stout. I am beyond excited to come and be able to talk to so many of you in real life, and I thought it would be a great idea to tackle five things you might not know about book signings or you might want to know about book signings. This came about in part two because I have received a number of emails from readers asking like, what do I do at a book signing? What should I expect? So I thought I would just share what I have learned. And of course, this is unique to me and my slant on book signings. And I would love for my author friends to weigh in because I think it's probably true for the vast majority of other authors out there, but let's get right to it. Number one, this was a question from a reader who asked, how formal is a book signing followed by what should I wear and can I call you Ellie? <laughs> okay, so for me, if you know me at all, even through this medium of social media, you know that I am not particularly formal. So for me, book signings are never a formal affair. You should come and you should feel comfortable and you should wear whatever you want to wear. Wear a Santa suit for my Cup of Holiday Fear <laughs> launch if you want. Wear your pajamas, it doesn't matter. Uh, wear whatever you want. You do not have to dress in a formal way. Although if you want to wear something cute and fancy, do that too. Anything goes when it comes to a book signing. And yes, please, please, please call me my name. A reader was like, should I address you as Miss Alexander? No, definitely not. And don't use my middle name because then I'll think I'm in trouble. Um, no, for me, anytime you come to a book signing, I want you to feel welcomed and like we're just there to have a conversation, which is what we're there to do. We're there to talk about books. So come and be yourself and um, enjoy it. Number two, can I take a picture? I get this question a lot from readers in email and then actually when I'm out signing books at stores, of course, definitely, please, please, please take a picture. I love it if you take a picture and I love it even more if you share it on social because that's another way that your friends and friends of your friends and friends of their friends discover my book and other authors' books. So yes, by all means, please take a picture. Now, there are probably many authors out there who that's not true for, but for me, my answer is always yes click away. Just don't ask me to take a selfie because if you've tried to take a selfie with me, you know I have terrible selfie taking skills and usually they end up looking like, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Number three, can I bring my own copies of your books for you to sign? So this one is a bit unique to each bookstore. For me, if I'm doing a signing for one of my new books and a reader brings in a stack of their lovely, like already read copies of my Bake Shop series or maybe my first few copies of the Sloan Krauss series, I definitely try to take the time to sign all of those. But I think A, it is common courtesy for you to check in with the bookstore and see what policy they have on that. And also when you come into the signing, assuming that they say yes, that's no problem, also just stop by the front desk or the cashier's area or wherever and let them know that, hey, I'm bringing in this stack of books that I've already purchased, just so they don't think that you've taken them off of the shelves and you're walking out of the store without paying for them. Number four, do I need to buy a book if I come to a book signing? The answer for me is no. Of course, you don't have to buy a book. If you're coming to a book signing, maybe it's an opportunity to just come meet and we connect in person, or you'd like to hear about my writing process or my not so exciting life watching the deer out my front window here in Ashland, whatever. 
I think that there are things that you could do though if you come to a book signing that definitely help authors and most importantly help independent bookstores. When I go out on tour, I go to a lot of independent bookstores and I think independent booksellers are basically the best people on the planet. They connect us, they connect readers with books and with authors and without independent bookstores, I would not be going out on tour. So I always encourage you if it's in your budget and you're coming to a book signing to buy a book to support the independent bookstore that you're going to. You don't even have to buy my book. Just buy any book that speaks to you on the shelves. Or if that's not in your budget, you can do some other things. You could take a picture. You could tag the bookstore and make sure that like you then go out and share on social media with your friends. Hey, I went to this great event. Thank you to whatever bookstore so that they get some love and some publicity out in the world. I just think that's a great way to spread the book love. Number five, is there a fee to attend a book signing? Most of the time, the answer to that question is no. There are special occasions where maybe there's something else that's attached. For example, I recently did a book signing with Beach Books in Seaside, Oregon, where they partnered with Dodo Bakery, this beautiful, delectable, tort style bakery that's attached to the bookstore and the bakery made recipes for my books. And so as part of the event, I had lunch with readers. So there was a minimal fee for lunch that was attached to that particular event. But if you're going to a signing at a bookstore, most of the time there's not a fee attached. So one thing that you can do is RSVP. It really helps bookstores, first of all. They want to be able to gauge how many readers are attending so they know, you know, if they're providing treats or sometimes wine or delicious snacks or putting out chairs. They want to know what capacity is and they want to have a sense of also how many books to have on hand. There's nothing worse than going to a signing and only having 25 books and multiple readers show up and somebody has to leave empty-handed. No, no, we don't want that. <laughs> All right, so those are my five tips for attending a book signing. I would love to hear from you. Have you been to author signings? Are you an author? Do you agree with mine? Do you say no way to pictures or I'm not signing any early copies of my book? I don't know. Comment below. As always, thanks so much for joining me for another Five Things Friday. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new videos. Happy weekend.